turn up You better be there when I shake Watch me rockin' if I can't stop If I should fall, just go ahead Go and catch me, baby Elmo. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Me and Annabelle. Annabelle say hi. And Doug are here. Oh lord. All right. Oh, baby cam. Anyways, Annabelle had some milkshakes, so she's doing a little better. Um, in today's video, Same I thought I would do. One. Give, give baby chocolate milkshake. <laughs> I know. Um, in today's video, I thought I would do a how to travel on a plane with a toddler. We've done it like a lot, I feel. We've done it quite a few times. Well. This is gonna be a really long haul flight, so we're traveling from Orange County, California to Charleston, South Carolina. So literally with like- a stop in the middle though. A stop in the middle, yeah. yeah. But it's still, it's like a really long day. It's like yeah. 10 hours yeah, or something. Um, so yeah, we do have a lot of tips. We've done it a few times, so we thought we would share with you guys. So the first time that we traveled with Annabelle, we were like freaking out. Yeah. Because we had no idea what we were gonna do. I was like, what are we doing with the strollers? She was but like seven months old. Yeah. But after doing it, a, yes, it's a plane. But after doing it a couple times, you start to figure out all the little, there's like three or four core things that just make your life so much easier. Yeah, really, that we wish we knew. Yeah. Tip number one is gate check your stroller. Super easy, it's free and you can tote your toddler around the airport when you have a layover. Tip number two is check your car seat at baggage claim because sometimes it's free. We are traveling with American Airlines and they don't charge you like the $25 fee. Right, Douglas? Sorry, yeah, it's complimentary. Complimentary, so that is always good. Tip number three is obviously if your child is under two, they travel for free. So we're taking advantage of that. Annabelle is 20 months and she's gonna sit on my lap or Doug's lap, which is honestly kind of annoying when they get older, but you really have only have a short window to do it. So if you wanna do it that way or you can buy your child's seat. Yeah. I know some people put their car you seat like car seat in, too. in the seat next yeah. to you, but honestly up to just preference. The other thing that you guys may not know is that nine times out of 10, if you have a child, they actually let you on first, like before anyone, or with the military, right? We're hoping that time is right now, but we will find out. We made it to our connecting flight, and another tip is to bring these antibacterial wipes. They're called, well, you can bring any kind, but these are called, wow, french fry. <laughs> these are called little buddy wipes, and I basically just wipe down like everything, her stroller or the seat in front of us, and it helps prevent germs. At least I'd like to think it does. <laughs> also, another tip is to bring spill proof like water for your child. This is an amazing cup if you guys have never heard about it. Wow, it's called the Miracle 360 cup and literally it does not spill any water. It's so good and I'll link it below. Wipe them down, wipe them good. Wow, good job. Oh, nice. <laughs> We're on our last flight and another tip I have for you guys, if you can book the flight during your nap. Wow. Yes, yes wow. That is best. Also, there are games that you can download that do not require Wi-Fi. I'll put some of them in the description box. And I also wanted to include at the end of this video a lot of other really important tips because let's be honest, 
telling you guys tips through the airport with a toddler and we were actually sick and I didn't really like go over that but Annabelle got sick on the plane not like throw up sick but she just had like a runny nose and was very irritable so I couldn't go through all the tips that I wanted to first one is obviously a pack an extra outfit there has been times where Annabelle just spills water on herself and she gets irritable by anything because she's almost two years old and it's just a fussy kind of toddler. Um, so pack an extra outfit, that is really important. And also what we did and I forgot to show is we actually bought a bunch of different like plane toys. They're not actual toys for the plane, but they're basically toys that are brand new that she's never seen and that we open on the plane and it's like Christmas. That's an amazing distraction method. We try and keep her off our phones or watching a movie for as long as possible because when you have a six or eight hour flight across the country like we did, you don't really want to sit there and have your toddler watching for eight hours that's just like gonna make them go crazy not to mention when my child is almost two years old she really doesn't watch that much tv so she can't like sit still for that long anyways and you probably shouldn't have them so having different toys that they've never seen and things that don't make noise because you don't want to disturb the passengers that is invaluable i also put in my amazon favorites video a link to like reusable stickers from melissa and doug i'll put that below but that is like the number one tip i have for like the plain toy situation it's only four dollars fifty cents and it is so cheap the stickers are like little individual toys so they're not just like regular stickers and they can peel off so she can stick them on the back of a seat of the plane um, or stick them on the windows and it's such a good toy to occupy them the other really big tip I have is to ask the gate attendant if there is an extra seat on the plane if you don't buy your child a seat because a lot of the time we find that the planes that we fly aren't full and we see like empty seats and wish we would have asked someone um, if they could like move our seats to where she she could have her own seat with that being said I do want to say that I would recommend buying your almost two-year-old a seat obviously you have to buy them like legally they have to be in their own seat after the age of two according to most airlines but now that she's approaching two we haven't really flown with her until the trip you guys just saw and we honestly wish we would have purchased a seat um, we were lucky enough to get a seat by herself on the plane or on the second flight back to Charleston um, but on the first leg of the flight she sat in my lap and slept in my lap and I'm also pregnant for some reason she did not want Doug well she wanted him like the first half but it was very hard to have her like near my stomach area being in the third trimester it was very uncomfortable so I would say that if you don't want to purchase their seat um I don't know I think like 18 months and up it's wise to just purchase them a seat if it's like a long haul flight the other thing is to pack them a ton of different snacks we actually forgot this and we had to buy like snacks on the plane which is fine it doesn't really matter um but just making sure they have a ton of stuff to eat and like new things and yummy things because that will keep them occupied from bothering the strangers that you're sitting around the last tip i have for you is to make sure you bring a little first aid kit because like i said in the beginning you never know when your child's gonna get sick or they might get a fever you have no idea a runny nose um bring tissues and like wet wipes we had to buy motrin right before we got on the plane because she had a little bit of a fever and she was like coming down from a cold so not having medicine on like a six or seven hour flight is like misery your child just screams so just making sure that you're packing Motrin or Tylenol is definitely gonna be a top of the list kind of thing for me so that's it for today's video if I forgot any tips let me know or if you guys have any tips that I didn't mention let me know in the comments don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you're new I make videos Monday Wednesday Friday on topics from motherhood to like womanhood and lifestyle vlogs things like that and i'd love to have you on my channel and thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye guys